Hello and welcome to Front Runner Motorsport. Many series come and go over the years, but the International Superstar Series seems to have only been around for a short amount of time. It rose to incredible highs and then just seemed to disappear into the night. Like that lover that's never coming back. It had big names and cool V8 cars. So what happened to the International V8 Superstars Championship? How did it get so big and how did it disappear so quickly? Let's answer these questions and more. So remember to subscribe and let's begin. Welcome to Front Runner Motorsport. This story starts with Italian race driver Maurizio Flamini, who himself had some success in motor racing. The 1976 Italian Formula 2 champion would spend the late 70s racing in the European Formula 2 series. Back then, a single step on the ladder below Formula 1. Flamini would take three wins in the series, firstly with the Trivoletto racing team in 1975, and two more with the Works March team in 1976 that came with a sixth place in the championship. He also raced a Ferrari at Le Mans in 1981 for Scuderia Supercar Bellencauto. Sadly, they did not make it to the finish. It was after this that Flamini would retire from active racing until 2004 when he would race in the International Superstar Series, but it was outside of active racing that Flamini really flourished. He had already run cars under his own team before, but in 1983 he formed the FG Group, which began its life working in collaboration with Italian National Motorcycle Racing as well as National Car Racing Series. But in 1988 it began a new motorcycle series, the Superbike World Championship, that would compete against another top bike series in MotoGP. The series grew over the years with millions of viewers in a ton of countries and is still going strong under different ownership in 2021. But that was obviously not enough for Maurizio Flamini, who decided that Italy needed a new touring car championship. Despite the fact Italy already had one, a series that had existed since 1987 and in 2021 is now the TCR Italian Touring Car Championship. But Flamini didn't just have a touring car series in mind. Oh no, this was a gas guzzling noise making V8 touring car series to run alongside DTM more than anything else. The series launched mildly in 2004 as the Campionato Italiano Superstars with a modest 12 drivers, 9 of which raced BMWs with 3 and Jaguars. In fact, only a couple of drivers raced the full season, and it was won by Francesco Ascani in a Carroll Motorsport BMW M5. More drivers took part in 2005 as well as an Audi for Tobias Messini who won the championship. With the death of the Italian Super Turismo championship in 2006, meaning the Superstar Series became a top Italian touring car championship, and growth into Europe with their first races outside of Italy at the Nürburgring. The series now had two simultaneous championships with every round counting towards the Italian series and four rounds counting towards the international series. It also attracted more star names with former F1 drivers Gianni Morbidelli and Arturo Mazzario, touring car and Le Mans legend Renato Capelli and top international skier Christian Gudina. Morbidelli won the Italian championship and Giuliano Alessi won the international. More manufacturers will join the series in 2008 with Mercedes, Cadillac, Chrysler and Chevrolet getting on the grid and Maserati joining in 2009 and Porsche and Lexus also being represented. In 2010 the FG Group formed a GT series to run in support of the international superstars which now had a race outside of Europe, the South African round at Kyalami. This is important for a top series as a full weekend of action really makes the series seem legit. There were more top drivers as well with Johnny Herbert, Pierluigi Martini, Fabrizio Giovinardi, James Thompson and Felipe Albuquerque, among others came in and out of the series. The series continued to grow in popularity and this popularity peaked after one hell of a season in 2012. A young Johan Christofferson battled it out with former Formula 1 driver Vitantonio Liuzzi and Gianni Morbidelli and Thomas Biaggi were in the background all season too. They had a good TV following and raced in front of a crowd of 30,000 people. In 2013, some of the big names had gone, but the series was still won by Gianni Morbidelli. But only three cars appeared for all the races that season, whilst others came in and out of the series. The owners of the series, though, had gone through changes. Whilst the FG Group still owned the series, it had previously been run under the name of Superstars World of Racing SBA. 
Towards the end of 2013, this was shut down and the series run by the FG Group and Commission Sportiva Automobilistica Italiana. Superstars was dead before 2014 even started. A new series was started using the old machinery but under a new name, the Euro V8 series. None of the big name drivers returned. The biggest name on the grid was Thomas Koska, a failed DTM driver who had scored zero points in 2009 with the Coles Audi team. He was hardly a name to grab headlines and also failed to win the series, losing out to Francesco Cini. The rights to the series were then sold to the Pan Asia Racing Enterprise Limited with Daniele Odetto at the helm. He had worked with Formula 1 teams such as Ligier, Arrows, Super Uguri and HRT, usually just before they died. The Euro V8 series was no different, it got cancelled for 2015 and never returned. How did this series go from reaching the big time to dying a death in just a couple of years? I honestly don't have the answers. No one is talking about this series, it seems to have been scrubbed from history. I imagine rising costs meant teams could no longer afford fees for top drivers and maybe manufacturers withdrew support. I can almost guarantee it came down to money in some way. For what it's worth, I love this series. The racing was usually good, they raced at great tracks and I really, really miss it. If you have any good memories of this series, leave them in the comments below. Did you ever see it live or do you remember watching it on TV? Remember to subscribe, thank you for watching and have a good one.